welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be using every single marker in my marker stand there's about 390 marker I think in there I, I didn't count them all but I kind of just went like horizontally vertically and multiply that and I was able to come up with like 380 markers but yes that is what we're doing I have done this challenge before if you guys want to see that I will link it in the i cards I've done this twice already I mostly wanted to do this challenge because I've been picking out markers for my stand that are like dried and I'm just like how many dry markers do I have on this stand like I want to take them all out and test them to make sure every single marker I have on here I can actually use. And by the end of the swatching process we'll have a beautiful drawing hopefully and a large stack of markers that are nice and full in a very tiny stack that's dried up fingers crossed. So with that being said let's go ahead and get started. Alright so here is my marker stand again. I have about 300 and 80 markers so like 390 maybe maybe more maybe less <laughs> but yeah I do have a variety of markers in there we have some Copics some Sharpies and a lot of Ohuhu markers so yeah a lot a lot of markers to choose from I just wanted to give myself some variety so I did start off by drawing the illustration on my iPad using Procreate this is the final piece I came I came up with a girl with short hair and a super cute dress. I usually when I do these types of videos I would go with like really long hair so I'd have more space to add in the marker but this time I was like I want to do short hair to also save me some time as well. But mostly because I was tired of drawing long hair and I just thought oh short hair for a change. And I also did a few color studies to see which colors I actually wanted to color on here before I just like start coloring just to make things easier myself. So those are the three um, pieces you saw. Let me know which one you like. I went with the white hair and yellow dress and I'm actually really happy with the the choice I made. And here is the drawing I transferred onto mixed media paper and I ended up adding some butterflies around her because I was like wait a minute I really don't have enough things to color using all these colors. Like I have a lot of markers and I only have one subject. I need more. So yeah that's why we have butterflies around her and I think it actually adds to the piece. So I'm happy about that. So we're gonna start off with her skin. I am just grabbing every single brown marker in this marker holder and these are all the brown markers I found in the stand. You guys probably can't tell but I was actually like so overwhelmed at the beginning of the piece. I'm like I just have this large piece of paper where do I even get started? I don't know if you noticed at the beginning where well, I was just using that one Copic markers I almost colored in like the entirety of her face and like started moving on to her body with just that one marker because I was like if I put this marker down I have to grab another marker and I'm like I don't know what which other marker to grab so I just kept like I just kept coloring using that one marker which is so bad because I'm not pacing myself well but I stopped using that marker because I noticed oh this marker is kind of dried so I should put it down and grab another one like I'm supposed to oh and I'm so sorry about my voice I think I'm getting I think I'm getting a cold so my voice sounds a little funny I apologize this Copic marker is literally so weird like this was my first time seeing a Copic marker like this I think it's probably like a faulty marker or maybe I might have put some alcohol in it in the past I'm not sure I'm not sure why it's like this but yeah weird And so this is the last brown marker I'm using currently and this is what the piece looks like so far and the skin looks so so patchy like I was like oh 
I, I should have smoothed out a little bit. So the next set of markers I'm using are the beige tones, the lighter skin tones. So I was able to use these colors to smooth out the skin so it doesn't look as patchy as it did before. Super happy about that. So the next set of markers are these light gray colors. I still have like the darker grays still in the marker holder, but I wanted to work on the hair and my first thought was to just make the hair white, like almost white, not white like the paper, but like a nice shade of white. And so I only picked out the lighter colors, but I still have those darker ones left. So yeah, these are like the blue gray colors. I was kind of like, ooh, this is this is not looking like how I was envisioning it, but at the end it actually turned out quite nice. And here is the next set of colors, my favorite pink, so cute. But yeah, I mostly just used the pink um, colors on the earring and um, some butterflies. Oh, and also on her nails. But yeah, I really didn't use the pink that much. I was kind of just overlapping a whole bunch of colors <laughs> at this point. And the next color is yellow. Let me know if yellow is your favorite color. I don't really know that many people who have yellow as their favorite color. I kind of remember people hating on yellow as well. Like pink and yellow was like the color people just were like, no. Trying to claim. So yeah, let me know if yellow is your favorite color. Because I literally, I, I don't even think I know one person that likes yellow. Except this character maybe, because I decided to make her dress this yellow color. I just think yellow and, and darker skin tones look so good together. And so, a cute yellow dress for her. I really, really like this character. I want to name her. You guys, please, please help me. Please help me name her. You guys will definitely be seeing her again. Like, she is giving me Virgo vibes. Um, somebody who likes to collect maybe handmade things. Like, her earrings could be like a handmade clay earring or something. So, yeah. If you guys ever want to draw her in your style, um, please, please tag me. I will appreciate you forever. The only thing I would say is, um, give her some handmade jewelry. It doesn't have to be the one that's on her right now. Like, I'll be switching out her earrings and stuff and her outfit as well. Like, I want her outfit to have some type of yellow on her. So, it can be like a yellow top with some blue jeans. So, yeah, if you ever want to draw her, you can draw her in this outfit or, um, or anything with yellow. This is for all the people who like yellow. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, the next color after the yellow is red. And then we have all my purples. I kind of had some like pinkish purple type of colors in here. So, so I mostly use the purples on the butterflies. And the next colors are the green. I think that green butterfly looks so pretty. I don't know why. That's like my favorite butterfly out of all those, out of the four. That green, the green and red, so cute. All right, we are almost done. The next color is the blue. I have so many blue markers. I literally couldn't even fit all of the markers I had in my, in both hands. So yeah, the majority of the blue was used in her hair and some on that flower, on, not the flower, the, the butterfly. And I actually wanted the little flowers on her dress to be white, but I ended up making it blue. Like that was such a bad, bad choice. Like if I could go back again, I would leave the flowers um, white. And we only have the grays left. 
ah, I was so happy. I was so happy to be done because I was literally starting to feel sick. Like I was just sitting in my room smelling all these fumes and it was, it was definitely upsetting my stomach. Like I literally felt like I was about to throw up. But I kind of like pushed through it. I was like, I'm just gonna be done. Like, like, let's just do this and finish and be over with it. And I was also sitting there for like four hours. You guys only seeing like 12 minutes, but for me, it was literally like four hours of me sitting there smelling in all the fumes. My least favorite part of this drawing is literally the the blue flowers on her dress and also around the butterflies i kind of did like little blue lines around them i was i was so dumb for that like i i hate i hate that i'm gonna try and find white paint and like paint that out all right and here i'm just adding in the final details using the posca pens i'm just like hallelujah hallelujah i am so done i won't be doing this again <laughs> Let me show you guys all the markers that are dried. They're mostly my Copic markers, you know, seven to eight dollars per marker and they're all dried up. But the good thing is I can buy refills for these so I will be saving them until I can afford some refills. Ace? Anyway, so these are what I... <laughs> Get out of my video, ma'am! So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't think I'll be doing another video like this of me using every single marker I own. I have way too much. This was exhausting, but it was fun. And I have a cute little art piece. I hope you guys liked the video, so thank you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys! Bye!